All right, folks, in the last problem, we took a look at the minimum value of mass hanging right here that will cause this block to slide along this rough level surface. And in this problem, I wanna take a look at the acceleration of the system or the acceleration of these blocks if we were to exceed that minimum value of mass in this situation. So let's go ahead and say there's a hanging mass equal to two kilograms. We're also gonna say that since this block is sliding, rather than having static friction between the block and the table, we're gonna have kinetic friction or sliding friction between the block and the table. And just to keep this a little bit more realistic, I've actually made the value of kinetic friction less than the value of static friction, since that's typically what we see friction do. Now, just like the static situation, we're gonna be applying Newton's second law. So let's start by applying Newton's second law first to this block on the table right here. You see, within the plane of motion or the direction of motion of the block, we have the tension acting forward and the friction force acting backwards. Now that's gonna cause this two kilogram block to accelerate at some unknown rate A. It's that A we're trying to solve for. Now we don't know how large the tension force is, but there's quite a bit we know about friction. You see, friction is given by mu, the coefficient of friction, multiplied by the normal force. Well, we know the coefficient of friction is 0.4. And the normal force, since the block isn't accelerating vertically, is gonna be equal to the weight of the block. That's two times 9.8, or mg. Leaving us with a friction force that has a magnitude of 7.84 Newtons. So substituting that friction force back into Newton's second law for the block, we get this expression, which has two unknowns, T and A leaving us with this equation with two unknowns, tension and acceleration. Now, just like in math class, if we have two unknowns, we need two equations to solve for either of those unknowns. So let's apply Newton's second law to this hanging block here in order to solve for A. You see, for our hanging block, there's the weight of the hanging block minus the tension in the string, and that's gonna equal the mass of our hanging block, which again is two kilograms, multiplied by the acceleration. Now, because we know the mass of the hanging block, we can solve for the weight of the hanging block. It's gonna be two times 9.8 minus T, that's gonna equal two A. Leaving us with a second equation that relates the tension in the string to the acceleration of the blocks. So rearranging one of these equations for T, and then substituting that equation in for T up here, we get the acceleration of both of the blocks is 2.94 meters per second squared. So again, I hope you found this useful. And on that note, that's all for now.